Hello all and welcome to Wayne's Allotment. Um, I'm indoors as you can see and I've got my uh, potatoes chitting. The date by the way is Sunday 29th of January. Um, I'll just uh, go in a bit closer so you can see what's what. Uh, these are Swift. Then these are International Kidney. Then all these down here are all Albert Bartlett rooster potatoes. And as you can see they're um, they're all chitting quite nicely. I think every single one is uh, doing really well. I'm very pleased with how they're going. Um, I'm not doing Sarpomira this year. Um, I've grown them for the last two years. Pull back a bit, show you them all. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing Sarpomira this year. I've grown them for the last two years. Um, they've been been very good. I can't moan about them. Um, there's been the odd one that um, has been hollow inside. Uh, don't really know why. I think that is something to do with the speed at which they're they're growing I think but I may be wrong um, but this time round after growing Albert Bartlett rooster for the first time last year I decided I'm going to put uh, most of my trust in those um, and Swift over there I've never done those before or International Kidney they're going to be grown in pots out on the allotment and the Albert Bartlett the rooster are going to be grown in the ground on the allotment um, but I just thought uh, give them a go and I've got something else to show you quick spin round and voila my grow light um, I've raised it so that you can see under a bit easier uh, what I've got is two lots of spring onions there they're white lisbon they were done 31st of the 12th um, basically as a bit of an experiment i don't know how old the seeds are it was a, a pack that i found tucked away you know how these things happen and i thought oh i'll just try it and i didn't really expect anything to come of them but they have so can't moan so they're doing all right and then here, these two are leeks, tornado, 22nd of the 1st they were sown. And if you just, uh, as you can see, just starting to come through. And just start and catch one or two starting to come up. Um, that over there. That's some lettuce. Again, another bit of uh, experiment. Um, that's one of those kits that you can get out of these pound shops. Uh, I don't know how long we've had it. It may have been bought last year, may have been the year before. But uh, I decided along with my granddaughter would just uh, put them in and see what happens. And I thought, well, I'll put them under this grow light because that will help them no end. So, um, so that's what I've done, and uh, the reason for doing tornado is um, with the leeks is they're something different. I will do some um, muscle bruh, which is my normal. They're what I've, in fact, today I've just lifted the last of uh, last year's crop. Um, and we'll be uh, having those um, a little bit later on. Um, but that's it. So I'm not going to bore you anymore. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update as to what's happening. These these grow lights absolutely brilliant. The plan, once the potatoes have gone in, these spring onions will go onto that window shelf. Window shelf, shelf. Self, see, I've got the dog's teeth in. Um, and then it'll free up a bit more room there then and uh, I shall probably 
getting uh, start and sort out some uh, beans and such like for then do my cabbages cauliflower broccoli that's all next on the agenda that's probably going to be um, more towards uh, about the middle of next month I think but more on that as and when they come along so right so uh, thank you all for watching um, and Dave by the way with regards to your greenhouse um, I'm not going to tell you what I think uh, of people that have done that have done you over for want of a better way of pouring it um, but uh, you seem to have got things together nicely and I'm really looking forward to uh, watching you build your new greenhouse so uh, please keep us all informed and keep us uh, up to date on everything so with that I'll leave you to it and I'll see you all again next time try a bit